Oh, habitat damage here. So we're going to want to call our mechanic in to repair this. And actually, I'm glad that that happened. It reminds me. So you can go to maintenance. And you can see, vets come every six months. Keepers come every month to feed the animals. Mechanics only come once a year. I'm going to up that to once every six months. Just to make sure that the wear and tear of these is kept to a minimum. But that's going to work the mechanic twice as hard, right? So eventually I'm going to want to hire another mechanic to help spare the uh, workload of just the one. All right. So now we've got that going. Cool. Oh, one of our warthogs expecting babies. That's fantastic. Uh, speaking of babies, do we have any new things that we can put down? I don't think that we've researched Springbok or um, Warthog yet. We haven't. Okay. And I'm going to get us another vet eventually, too, so we can start to research two things at once. Eventually, that'll happen. Okay. I had some people saying, yo, can you hide the um, facilities with some plants? And I think that that's a good, it's a good time to do that right now. So, I'm going to pause for this. And let's go with nature. Actually, let's go with barrier first. And I'm just going to use one of the little hedge barriers here. And thank you to... Oh, Tylerid! What's up, dude? Hey, Rick, it's Tylerid. Speaking of babies, news. Chloe Irene Downs, born 2015, Thursday evening. What? That's amazing. Wait, when you said born 2015... You mean like born 2019, right? That's just, you, but just born? You just had a, amazing news, guys. Tyler, it's so glad to see you in chat again. You're an amazing dude. That's uh, that's great news, you guys. Drop some hype for Tyler. That's, I can't wait, guys. I'm going to be getting my little girl too soon. It's it's the, tis the season to give birth to adorable little baby girls. Uh, congratulations, man. I, I wish you guys the best. Um... Okay, let's go ahead and, is that, uh, it's not perfect. There we go, That that's better. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little hedge there. Um, can I just do like one little boop, like that? I can, interesting, okay, great. Um, and then a wall like that, there we are, okay. And then lastly, we'll do the wall around the side. Wait, why, why for, oh. Because you're still connected there. That's why four. Okay. And I think that I can actually bend the hedges. Make you small for a second. So I can bend you. There we are. For some reason, the first wall you put down never wants to bend properly. It will always wants to be straight. There we go. So you have to put down a little one in order to bend the next one. There may be a way to get around that. I haven't figured it out yet. I'm not smart enough. There we are. Um, okay, and we're almost there. Okay, bend. Oh, just maybe seven meters long. There we go. That's that's a proper bend. That's a proper bend. All right, then we'll just go ahead and straighten it out and make it full length. There we go. That That's oh, that's as far as we need to make it. Um, oh, and you know what? Let's raise the height of these things too, huh? So, I don't want people seeing these at all. Go whoop! Way up. There we go. Look at that. Look at the size. Actually, maybe it doesn't need to be that big. That's a, that's a little overkill. Maybe we'll just make it four meters like the other ones that we've built. A hedge, made, or a hedge wall that large just kind of ridiculous. There we go. Go four... That actually, that's looking pretty sharp. And now we can start to put some plants and stuff in front, right? So, go nature and we've got a tropical theme going, right? We're in a tropical biome in Africa. So, let's stick to that and start to put down some tropical plants and stuff. Some, there we go, palm trees. I love this curvy palm tree. It's it's one of my faves. There we go. Put that down there. Um, one of these. This is already looking so much better, right? Just putting down these plants helps so much. These big ones. Look at that. It's it looks so good. I love it. I'm I'm losing my mind here. It's just so amazing. Um, also, I think that it's grasslands. There's these cute little 
flowers. I think it's grasslands. Um, is it not grasslands? Is it? Yeah, it is. There we go. I like these little African daisies. They're they're very cool. There we go. Put some of these daisy flowers. And one right there. Some daisy flowers back here as well. There we are. Yeah, baby. Ah, uh, this this is coming along, guys. I'm so glad you guys have joined me for the creation of this dream zoo. There we go, a little flower there. Some right here. Look at that, look at that, look at that! It looks so much better, oh my god. There we go. So we've um, hidden our, our stuff behind there, and then we'll want to hide these ones too, because this is just not gonna cut it. Um, same thing though, right? Go ahead and do some uh, hedge barriers over here as well. So, do like a wall, not that long. That's entirely too long. Maybe like nine meters long, huh? Yeah, nine, I think nine is kind of like the perfect length. And then we'll bend it around. Uh, maybe eight. Is it eight, seven? S there we go. And, oh, yeah, that's looking fine. I don't know why I went Sean Connery there. I just felt it. Just felt right. Looks real fine. There we are. And, wait. Is this clipping? Where? Uh, it's just... A little bit too close, I guess. Just a little too close. There we go. Seven meters. Seven meters is the perfect length. There we go. Nice, 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 nice. I am... Oh, man. I, I am really excited for the way that this zoo is turning out, you guys. Like, this is the culmination of my efforts over the last couple weeks. To try to make just, like... A really great zoo. And it's finally coming together. Nice. And then we just got to do that. What I do wish is that you can copy walls. So, like, if I were to drag this and, like, copy... I wish that I could copy this wall and then, like, just replicate it on the other side. Um, can I do that? Can one of you guys in chat enlighten me? Is that possible? Ah! Got water in my eye. Oh, and thank you, Enchanted Tigris. Yeah, I kind of was thinking 2015 when Tyler had mentioned his um, baby girl being born. It's it's military time. Uh, yeah, naturally. It's just um, yeah, I, I should I should put two and two together because I knew that Tyler was uh, in the military. Go and I think that you would just. Correct me if I'm wrong, but, like, the first time you joined one of our streams, way back when, you had just completed training? Am I remember that correctly? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like that that was, uh, the big news. And then, of course, you, um, got engaged. Big news. You've shared a lot of big news with us. I gotta just say thank you for, uh... For hanging out with us and, and sharing that. I mean, I, I love being part of these momentous occasions with you guys. It's it's flattering that you guys would include us in such amazing points in your life. Okay, and there we go. I oh, there we go. Oh, 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 oh yeah, so good. And then do four meters, just like the other ones. And the four meters, these, like, cover the entirety of the building pretty good. So nobody knows what's happening back here. I wish that putting walls up like this would, um, affect the, um, what is it? What, what do they call it here? The, uh, negative impact on guests. I wish that when you put up a fence, it would contain this. Because how would the guests know? Like, presumably, sure, they can, like, hear the engines going and whatever but like seriously putting up walls like this should totally block them out that would that would be a lifesaver if that were the case if you can just hide stuff behind walls that i would love it they need to make that a thing come on four meters there we go perfect all right and then we'll plop some trees down and we'll be good uh, some more nature more nature I love these trees, but they're just too big. Actually, no, it's not too big. I mean, it's a it's a ginormous tree, but that'll definitely fit there. And that's kind of cool, actually. Uh, yeah, I, I dig that. 
This tree is ginormous here. This one's a little bit... No, here we go. This one's a little bigger, but that'll fit too. Oh, yeah. That's kind of a, like a perfect area for these trees. That's cool. All right. I'm really glad that we found perfect uses for these things. They're pretty great. Um, maybe some of these marula trees. There we go. Put one on this side as well. Um, is there... A that's not the same one I just used, is it? No, it's not. I think it's the different one. There's like three varieties of each tree that you can choose from. Oh, that is dope. That is freaking dope. I am... I'm in love with the way that this is turning out. And there we go. Um, line it with some flowers. And some of these other plants. Oh, yeah, baby. Are you guys as stoked as I am? Because I'm freaking stoked. I am hyped. I am so hyped. All right. Um, let's do some more plaisants at back here. We got more space on this side. So when I was trying to line things up just perfect, it didn't line up perfectly. This side definitely wound up with more space than the other side. So it's not perfect, unfortunately. But you know what? Perfect enough, you know? I'm not going to beat myself up. I feel like it's good enough. There we go. You asked and ye have answered blocked up the stuff with plants now this zoo is actually looking quite legit all right this is this is just i'm mm, mwah. it's it's great it's great um so now the, i guess the question is we can keep putting animals into these uh, exhibits and the animals actually seem to be pretty content right now obviously they're not as happy as they could be but it seems like we're not really stretching our um, workers too thin just yet and if I go to zoo and look at my staff so yeah it actually looks like everybody's pretty good efficient workloads across the board my security actually has a low workload and this is exactly what we want to see is we want to see people having a good time not being overworked you know I'm not like a malevolent overlord or anything I'm a benevolent overlord definitely an overlord though uh, so what do we want to do next is the question huh well, hmm. If I look at my research, okay, so vet, yep, you're doing warthog. My mechanic's still doing barriers. It's gonna take a while. Um, I guess we can start to think about. Oh, speaking of vet research, there we go. We've learned a little bit about the old warthog, and you know what? Let's switch, shift our focus now to Springbok, huh? Because we've learned a little bit about the warthog. So let's see. Do we have any new warthog stuff that we can put in here? So warthog. Enrichment. Yeah, we do, actually. We've got... Oh, we've got quite a bit, actually. So, I wonder if there's some overlap between what I learned about the... Uh, the Wildebeest and the Warthog. So, they do have one food enrichment item. I'm just going to put down one. And then we've got this Herb Scent Marker. I'll put down one here. And then we've got a Rubbing Pillar. That's cute. I would love to go to a zoo and watch a Warthog just rubbing on a pillar. It would be amazing. Oh, you know what I never did? I never put these signs on. So let's go common warthog. And springbok. Common warthog. And a springbok. And a common warthog. And a springbok. There we go. Okay. Now our people are learning. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, so what did that do for our warthogs, BTW? Um, if I look at their happiness out, perfect. 100, 100. Love it. Hundreds across the bizord. And... Okay, my zebras, they need some toy enrichment. I, I don't have toy enrichment for zebra yet, do I? Let me just see. Zebra. Oh, I definitely do. Oh, so the zebras, they share 
Twain Richmond with the uh, Warthogs. I love it when there's overlap. Every now and then there will be overlap. Look at that. People are going to watch zebras rubbing on a pole. Um, low, low welfare. There we go. Welfare is better. Your welfare is good. So now what do we do? My animals are happy. My zoo seems to be functioning pretty well. Um, are we making money? If I look at my uh, finances here, um, it looks like we're still in the red. Um, but I don't know if this has really been updated since last year. Uh, how are my guests doing? Ticket prices is fair. Fair? That's it? I raised it a little bit. I, I feel like you shouldn't be complaining too much. Get a great view of the wildebeest. People like the view of the wildebeest. This is good. All right. Scorching hot. Not a lot I can do with that. I didn't come to see the fa staff facilities. So annoying. I knew it. This tiny area right here. People are complaining about the staff. Even though I built this wall. Ugh. So annoying. People are so picky. Uh, that research is complete. They're researching a lot quicker now. Because I've trained them. Because they're very well trained. All right. So we're going to need the next phase. The next expansion of our park. And I'm thinking some animals to go back here, you know? Or maybe, like, an animal exhibit over here, you know? And then we can build one over here. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. So, I think what I want to do, though, is I want to play with the elevations a little bit, you know? Hey, Rick, they're complaining because the influence of the building is on the path. Oh, I know that. I, I, I know that. Um, I, <laughs> I played with the paths a little bit. And it was really annoying. Like, I wanted to delete this path. Oh, actually, that worked. Will this work? Oh, my God, that worked. Okay, I played with this path earlier in the stream, and I couldn't get it right. And it's not perfect. There's still some overlap, but the overlap isn't as bad. So now if I look at this, the overlap is just barely in there. And then over here, it's a little bit worse because... Uh, I'm trying to see if there's a way that I can shift the stairs you know what i mean on this side it's fine the overlap isn't as bad now they are going to complain a little bit but you know what that's better that's better uh which means that there's room for more plants and stuff here now so i'm going to put down a few more plants like um what kind of plants should we put here some elephant grass perhaps there we go There we go. Get some elephant grass, huh? Plop. There we go. That'll do. That's a little bit better. Hey, I was raided? Oh, excuse me. Fearadelia. Oh, my goodness. I don't know why there is... I'm going to have to check into this. There should have been a raid notification. Thank you so much, Fearadelia. That's sweet. Welcome, raiders. Oh, my gosh. I feel like a real rude boy. Uh, hopefully, you guys don't hold it against me. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Um, we're just building zoos here. Hope you guys are going to enjoy uh, coming along with us. Um, I am a little concerned. Before I start to build new stuff, I want to make sure that we sort of stabilize our funds. Because we are paying back this um, loan. And I want to make sure that... Here, I'm going to fast forward. And I'm just going to see the trajectory of our income. Because we're hovering around 18000 Kind of dipping down a little bit. There we go. Starting to go up now. Okay, good. As long as we hover around that and we don't dip too low, we'll be good. Um... Now, let's see. We've got some more vet research completed. Fantastic. We're researching that there. Springbok. Um, oh, you know what? Let's check in real quick with our last inspection. Inspection wasn't bad. Matalo was dehydrated when they inspected, but that happens pretty frequently. I'm not too concerned about that. Okay, I'm just going to fast forward and watch our money. What we want to do is pay off this loan is what we need to do. If I look at finances... How much do we have left on the loan? We have $19,000 to repay. All right, we're just going to fast forward until we pay it all off. And, ooh, our spring box about to have a baby. Cool. That management is completed. Up. Oh. And my warthog's about to have a baby. You know what? Let's watch this little miracle of life be birthed. 
I'm gonna fast forward until she... There, oh, it's gonna happen! There it is! Yes! I love baby warthogs! I want the sun to come out so I can see you up close at... Whoa, 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 camera! Oh, God, the camera's freaking out. Okay. Come here. Oh, God. Stop, camera. I just want to look at my baby. There we go. Hello, little warthog. Oh, you are so cute. Oh, you are so cute. You remind me of my puppy dog. Oh! There she goes. Or is it he? Oh, there he goes. All right. What do your stats look like? Oh, okay. You're okay. You're okay. Um, so we got a little warthog. That's the good news. The bad news is that it will grow up and then we'll have to release it into the wild. Because warthogs, they don't get along with other warthogs so, so good. If you look at the Zoopedia, you can actually see group size. Oh, they get along with other females. But another male is going to throw off the equation. They're going to start to battle for alpha status. It's not going to be good. So I'm going to have to release uh, one of them back into the wild, okay? There we go. 